Hey everybody, welcome to another Plum Crazy Adventure. Yes. Today we are at the Smithsonian Zoo in Washington, D.C. because we want to see the giant pandas. Yep, for the first time and for the last time for us. Yeah, at least here. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, they're supposed to be scheduled to go back in December of this year, so we wanted to make sure that we got out here and got to see them. And without further ado, let's get in there and let's see what else we can find because we've done no research and have no idea what we're doing. Yep. <laughs> We parked in lot B, so the first thing we're going to do is elephant trails. And right over here is Pachyderm Plaza. Are you going to weigh yourself? Are you like an elephant? About 38 pounds. <laughs> Don't want to know. <laughs> Check this out. Are you as strong as an elephant? Why don't you push? Push real hard. Uh, I don't think you're as strong as an elephant, kiddo. What is that, Nick? I did. Elephant. Is that cool? Is that cool? She seems to have really small ears. I mean, she's an Asian elephant, right? Not sure about quote me on So this is Trung Mi. She is about 7,700 pounds, weighs is 8 foot 10 inches tall, and was born in 2003 at the Rotterdam Zoo. Hmm. She's finding some goodies in there, huh? <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Eat. So she was born in 2003. That would make her 20 Add years this, yeah. old. Add this. We are going to move right along, but I love. You can get cocktail slushies, craft beer, lemonade, or coffee at the Vintage Views trailer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nikki, you've got to go do this with Daddy. What are those? Meerkats. Go around. Cheese! I <laughs> love it! <laughs> now see, what we'll have to do is I'll have to get a photo and put your dad's head behind that. <laughs> That way he can be a part of the meerkat tribe. That is so funny. I can't get over how big and open everything is. It's beautiful here. What else are we gonna find today there, Nikki? Wait for us, please. What did you find? Yeah, there's more elephants. They're outside over here. So our building was redone. Like... It's such a pretty area for them to be in. Might be a little hard to see, but the one back there has some giant tusks. I love this. So they have a lights out program. Shows that elephants can sleep lying down or standing up. They use motion sensor camera traps and webcam to observe elephant behavior day and night. But they only need about four hours of sleep a night. Wish I only needed four hours of sleep a night. Scott was telling me that we missed that one swimming. That would have been a lot of fun to see. Poop. Elephant poop. Elephant poop. <laughs> it's a little elephant sculpture. Oh, that is cute. And I bet at least it's some of the times, he squirts water out of his trunk. 
Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. They're eating hay. Ah, I see how it is. These are, and I'm gonna pronounce it wrong. I grew up knowing them as Przewalski's horses. That is not how you actually pronounce it. But that's how I will always call them. What the, I will always end up calling them. Because my brain always defaults to that. Okay. We are going to go down another elephant trail. If I don't kill my child by running him over because he's right. insisting on stepping on the steps of the elephant steps. Okay. <laughs> he wasn't paying attention about killed the child. Well, I was trying to get stuff that was not on the ground, so <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> and here we are coming up on the elephant outpost. this piece of art with the birds in it. They've done a really good job with these interactive displays. For instance, how can you tell if they're Asian or African? Well, African elephants have much larger ears, as you can see, and it's shaped like the continent of Africa, whereas Asian elephants have much smaller ears. And then for tusks, only some male elephants have tusks. Females have no tusks or short tusks called cushions. Whereas African elephants, male and females, have tusks. Interesting fact about elephants. What's that? They pee up to about 12 gallons a day. That's enough to almost fill a small tank of fuel on a car. And you learned that while you were in the bathroom, didn't That's you? That's exactly right. It's amazing the educational stuff you learn when you pee. Uh, apparently. <laughs> and here's some information on how they have been tracking elephants in the dense forests and jungle of Asia. So that they can learn more about their habits and do their best to bring the population back this is an endangered species. Now we're going to take the American Trail and find the treasures of North America. This is going to be a lot of fun, huh Nick? There's a better vantage point of the otters playing in the water. Swimming away, having a good old time. Check these guys out. There's some common ravens here. Hi guys. You're a lot bigger than I thought you would be. Ah! Oh, really? Here's an American beaver. Hi, buddy. Really? He's so big and beautiful. Oh, okay. Oh, here he's swimming. He's coming back out to say hi. See how he's using his tail like a rudder? Oh! Ow! What? Can you see them? Yeah. They see them. There's two Ow. eastern screech owls. You have stuffed animals that are bigger than them. <laughs> They're not very big at all. <laughs> they do have a red wolf 
habitat here. I'll be honest though, I'll be really surprised if we see any because they are known to be very, very shy. But I love that they have them here. Because we've been watching different shows about them. This way to a bald eagle. Look at that bald eagle statue. That's really cool. So this is her habitat, and as a head up, heads up, she is only two years old, and her white head and tail feathers won't come in completely until she's about five. She's so pretty. Look at this. What are they? Seals. Gray seals. They're sleeping. Here's another glimpse at our gray seals. Now we just missed their show by about 15 minutes, so they're tuckered out a little bit. <laughs> Taking it easy. The sea lions. <laughs> yeah, lions of the sea. He's splashing up a storm. He's mad about something, huh? Oh, is that what it is? What a beautiful habitat. <laughs> He's like, get over here a little closer, kid. Let me splash you real good. Look at this. Get yourself some Smithsonian National New Zoo medallions. As you're going through, you can purchase these. <laughs> I do want to point out the show viewing area for the sea lions because this has to be one of the coolest little amphitheaters, excuse me, that I have ever seen. And a great view sea lions and Scott's showing me something what are we looking at something's coming through the trees there it is it's marine one. Oh wow that would make sense I forget how close we are to the White House so we're down here in the sea lion cave which has been generously supported by the Coca-Cola Foundation. Not that my husband is paying any attention. It's the Andean bear. I've never seen one. So we just checked the map uh, to make sure that we weren't missing anything and we're not, uh, but we definitely are doing the zoo in kind of a haphazard manner. I didn't realize that this was a giant loop um, that we're technically taking backwards, but that's okay, because we're still gonna get to see everything. So just kind of double check the map, kind of have an idea of where it is that you parked versus, uh, compared to where all the displays were, because I was all excited about seeing the pandas and we went in the complete opposite direction. So we'll be finishing up by seeing the beautiful giant pandas today. We are entering Amazonia now. You see the rays? Bird. Oh, look at those. I guess Scott and Nick found turtles. Hi, fish. 
<laughs> I think those are piranhas. Can you say piranha? Oh no, it's a red hook paku. Say paku. Okay. So I was right. They're both. Cool. Look. Yeah, there's a paku. We used to have a couple of those and they're eating they're eating their vegetables. They're eating sweat potatoes. Sweet potatoes, not sweat potatoes. That's sweat. okay. I was gonna call them carrots, so <laughs> I'm a sweat potato. Look at how beautiful they are. Nice fish. Look at how pretty it moves. Nice fish. Yeah. They got a boa. They got a rainbow boa, a Brazilian rainbow. Oh my goodness, they have two. Okay, we took the elevator and we're officially up in the forest. Oh my goodness. We'll step back just a little bit. No pooping on us. Right there is a termite nest. Interesting. I never would have realized that's what that was. And here's an even better view of the. A little bit further. Yes, because he's making. Uh huh. I see. Making me nervous. But those are the rays that we saw when we first got here. It's guinea pigs. They've got a giant house here. Wow. Look at all the fun stuff they have. Okay, I have no idea what this is that we're walking into, but it is really cool. Oh gosh. This is me on a bad hair day. That's you on a bad hair day? <laughs> yeah. I'd be Christopher if he ever let his hair grow out. They have prison dart frogs. Whoa. Do you see the frog? Frog? Oh, that's a weird looking frog. Look at him. I'm impressed. It is really hard to keep poison dart frogs and golden frogs alive. And these are Fowler's toads. I used to catch these when I was a kid, but apparently the toad populations are in decline because of all of the pesticides that we use. Sad. I used to like to listen to these croak at me at night. Oh my goodness, they have a giant coral reef display here. Which, this is giant, believe it or not. Some of them I've seen. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? Slightly creepy. Beautiful. They are growing coral. We've got a little bit of everything in here, it seems like. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm sure they are also part of conservation efforts to regrow coral in some of our coral reefs. Here's the kids' farm. And you thought kids, they were talking about actual human kids. No, we're talking about goats. They have domestic chickens. Look at them in their chicken coop.
We got cows. Okay, we gotta go. We got cows. Cow. And of course, you know that I am more excited about the donkeys. Look at that cute little baby donkeys. Careful, he's an ass. Oh, let me show you this little gray girl over here real quick. I'm gonna go all nerdy on you. So it's kind of hard to see from right here, but she has a stripe all the way down her back to her tail. She also has two stripes right along her shoulders. That marks her as a dun. There's your odd horse fact of the week. She's a dun. And that's just the coloring. Hi guys. They are enjoying their fans. I'm enjoying standing behind the fan because I'm actually getting some airflow. <laughs> Stay cool, guys. So just off from the kids' farm section right there is a nice play area if you want to have your kids burn off some steam before you start looking at more animals. We are not going to do that today because we are pressed for time. And Nick heard that lions and tigers are up here. So, of course, we have to go see them right away. I have never seen these before, but I think it's really cool. These are bending hives, so these are actual beehives that they are bending. And I don't think that there's any rhyme or reason behind why they're bent, other than Matthew Willey created them to raise awareness about the importance of bees and other pollinators. We're starting our trek up the Lion Tiger Hill and check out the main grill, which features the Elevation Burger. The Elevation Burger is USDA certified organic, 100% grass-fed beef burgers with fresh fries cooked in heart-healthy olive oil. You can also get milkshakes made from hand-scooped real ice cream. The Prairie Dog Playground. Let's see here, Claws and Paws Pathway. So we're gonna find Prairie Dog Playground and the American Porcupine here. You wanna go find the porcupine? The porcupine's way up there. Okay. Look at that. The Pentarong. It's kinda like how your brother sleeps, isn't it? Uh-huh, half off. All I can smell is the bobcats. Look at them hiding up there in their little tree house. What did we find in here, Nick? What's supposed to be in here? Prairie dogs are supposed to be in. Oh, I see one. There's one. That's the one keeping watch. Say cheese! Cheese! <laughs> ah, love it. Good job, kiddo. And here we are. There's the tiger. tiger. Yeah, you found her. Hanging out in the shade. Watching us. Here she comes. Right across from the lion and tiger exhibit. Look at the triceratops. Oh, they want me to see something over here. Oh, turtles. Lots of turtles. Do you see the lemur over there? 
There's a lemur. We're going through a butterfly garden. It's a little late in the season for butterflies, huh, buddy? I see a whole bunch of turtles. Why do you say turtle so aggressively? Oh my goodness. Oh, they found something else. Turn there. Look, look, look. Look. You found it yet? Oh my goodness. We found a sand cat. Look at the sand cat. It's so sleepy. so cute, isn't it? There's little ears. Got a naked mole rat display. You can actually see the little naked mole rats. They're definitely unique. This is pretty cool display. Oh my. Good mole rat display. Oh, there goes one. Boy, they are busy. Wow. It's a red rough lemur. You see three of them. Another tamarind. It's the golden lion tamarind. Tamarind. It's a type of monkey. Guys, it's finally happened. There's an armadillo. Snake. No, it's not a snake. It's an armadillo. There's two armadillos. Hey, you finally see one. I know. I'm so excited. Look at this little dwarf, dwarf mongoose. He's so cute. Right over here. Oh, hi, buddy. It's a screaming armadillo. Oh, my. <laughs> they move fast. So this little guy is a Goldie's monkey. And he must have been a little sad and lonely because they gave him a couple of mirrors and he also gave him a stuffed monkey to be a part of his habitat. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? We found Grandpa's favorite animals, meerkats. That's too funny. <laughs> tell, me, tell me more, Mom, what these are. Meerkats. Meerkats. Very good. Oh, there's the sentinel up there. See, I gotta work. <laughs> <laughs> This is a tree anteater. I bet he uses that tail to hold on to trees. Isn't it cool? Let me tell you something, guys. You gotta check out the mammal house. That is probably one of the coolest zoological displays I have ever seen anywhere. And as I just showed you, because uh, multiple types of tamarinds, and we got to see an arboreal anteater, and just all kinds of really cool things. So definitely, when you come here, don't miss out on the mammal house. And don't forget your armadillos. Yes, and the armadillos. Are you a frog? Ribbit. Cheese. <laughs> so we've officially entered the Asia Trail. 
it's time to see the giant panda habitat. Oh my gosh. And here we are coming up on the panda viewing habitat. Here we have some different things conservation wise that they are doing to increase the giant panda population. Here we go. Look. It's a panda. Is it a panda? Yeah. Behavior watch where you can watch the pandas and see what they're doing. And somebody's on staff all the time to watch. <laughs> okay, Scott, we have our sunglasses on for obvious reasons. Yep. Um, what did you think of the giant pandas? Oh, I love them just as much as I did when I first saw them. I mean, this has been, she's what, I don't even want to tell how many years, but it's been a while since I've seen them. But yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing to see them again, and I hate that we're losing them, but yeah. okay. I, I am just tickled to death that I finally got to see some giant pandas. Nick got to see giant pandas uh, mm -hmm. because who knows when we're going to make it to China, and even if we are going to China, are we going to be seeing giant pandas while we're there? Yeah, so, this is true. Uh, to be able to see them uh, and see such an incredible habitat for them, yeah, uh, definitely was really cool. Yeah, this is uh, this is definitely uh, worth coming and seeing before they leave uh, yeah, in December. In December, so if you get the opportunity, definitely get here, come and see them before they get out of here and go back to China. So, um, well worth it. So I'm glad we made the trip. Glad you got to see him, and I'm glad Nick got to see him for the first time. Yep. So. And we're going to keep moving along because somebody has way more energy than he should have. Yep, he does. So we are coming up on the Asian Small Clawed Otter exhibit. I haven't seen anybody yet. Oh my gosh, I thought they were rocks. <laughs> I see them. Thank you for that. Oh my goodness. They're so tiny. Okay, we're gonna come up on our cheetahs. Super excited to see these guys. Are we gonna go right here? Okay. Show us where we're going. Look at this giant habitat. And right on the other side of the bush, there's a cheetah. Ooh, predators and prey. It's a tough world out there. This is a really cool interactive exhibit. Do you see any prey? Climb on a termite mound for a better view. You spotted some prey. Crouch down quickly. Get close without being seen. Yeah, Nick has failed miserably. Catch! It's time to chase down your prey. Yes, let's face it. It's running, it's running away. There he goes. All right, and then last but not least, let's spin. Did we catch our child? No. You spotted a gazelle fawn, but it hid in the grass and you can't find it. 
<laughs> yeah, that sounds like something that would happen with us. So for those of you that watch the Animal Kingdom shows on Disney Plus, look at it. They have a giant Abyssinian ground hornbill here. And he is so cool. Here's our bison. We have Gally and Lucy. Gally's on the other side. You can see his tail a little bit. They're not as big as I thought they would be. Well guys, I think that's gonna wrap up our Smithsonian Zoo video. We had so much fun here. We got to see giant pandas. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. Uh, Scott and Nick, they've already gone to the car because it is in the 90s, uh, probably not the best time to be coming to the Smithsonian Zoo. Uh, it is uh, beginning of September, but definitely wanted to be able to make sure that we got to see the giant pandas before they go uh, home to China in December. So really glad that we got to come out here. We also got to see some other really incredible animals, uh, Asian elephants, which we don't get to see very often. We have African elephants at our home zoo in Pittsburgh. We got to see Benterongs. That was cool being able to see one of them. Uh, the Mammal House. Oh my gosh, you've got to check out the Mammal House when you are here. Uh, one of the best displays that we have ever seen as far as different species and things uh, that you wouldn't see at other places. For instance, tamarins. They had like three or four different species of tamarins, which was really cool. Uh, but with all that being said, we hope that you enjoyed this video. We had a ton of fun making it and being able to come here and experience everything. Uh, and if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification button so that you know when we upload new videos. Also, don't forget, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We are also on Threads and TikTok, although we don't post on there as much as we probably should. Uh, I think with all that being said, are you guys ready for your next one crazy adventure? Because we are ready to get you here. 